like more sure that I was stronger in the 10 even without the standard um, but it's it's really gonna be a tough call because it's a really hard double at Worlds it's not like USA is like we're gonna be running hard in the 10 and um, yeah we're gonna just have to like really well first of all see if they even take me in the 10 and then um, just there's more wiggle room in the five, I feel like. I feel like the 10 is just so competitive at Worlds, and if you're not able to hang in that second 5K, you're just in no man's land. So we'll have to see. Um, I'm not 100%. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you think you'll, so not 100%, like would you definitely, is it a question of you definitely doing the five and then you might add the 10, or is it like you don't know either way? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think we probably <coughs> track hack. <laughs> Sorry, you're breathing real hard out there. Um, we probably will double just because, like, if I make both teams, like, it's it would be kind of a shame to like turn one down. I feel like, um, but like I, I'm gonna have to go off of the advice of my coaches and yeah have this discussion with them uh tell me about that move you made uh you know to, to take the lead so i felt the pace slowing down and at the same time i heard girls coming up and i did a quick peek back and i was like okay i know there's a lot of girls in this field that have a strong kick and we gotta go um so i made the move and i was like maybe i can win this thing <laughs> Um, which shocked myself, but then um, Elise came, of course, and I just hung on as hard as I could until, yeah, and then I almost, like, caught Alicia there at the end. So I, I'm right there. I mean, with a little more work, I might be able to actually win one one day. <laughs> <laughs> is that, like, is, how long has that been goal for you to, to win a U.S. title? Um, I think it kind of, like... In 2012, I was second, so like it was like, oh, like I'm actually like at this caliber. But then, throughout the middle of my career, it was like, oh, that's just so far off. So like I kind of lost touch with that. And then, just recently, like this year, it was like, oh, like I might be a household name in these events. Yeah, like you, yeah, you know, you've had such a great run in that 2012 trials, and then for a while, it's not like you totally disappeared, but from the track, you weren't running at the level you've run the last two years. Like, what was going on then? How'd you kind of get out of it? Um, yeah, it was just like kind of a rut with like a very long rut with training. I was training all alone, doing all my workouts on the treadmill, and just like not fully committing to a program and to having teammates who push me and um, like those are huge missing puzzle pieces and you're not going to be able to make teams with, with that. Like I did last year but um, like especially on the world stage you got to have all those puzzle pieces come together. Yeah and I know you guys recently got uh, Pascal Dobert as an assistant coach like when did he come on and I guess what sort of stuff has he done with you guys? So he came on, we were in Mammoth in May and that's when he came um, and he does all like the strength work for us in the gym which I've never done before mm -hmm. and so yeah I'm in the gym and uh, like I've never really trusted somebody with this stuff before because I'm pretty like weak and injury prone but he's really really good and uh, it's something we all really need. Cool. Yeah. Well congrats on making the team. Thank and, you. Yeah, see you in Budapest.